Hey guys, Steven here with another amazing binary tutorial aimed at people that don't know binary. Uh, I hope you learned a lot from the first video because we're going to be using a lot of that on this one. In this video we're going to look at two different ways that you can do binary subtraction. One way is the way that we already know how to do, and the other way is how computers actually do binary subtraction. So after this we're going to look at how we can actually build a device or a circuit that will perform addition and subtraction. But first we I want us to understand the theory so that we know what we're doing when we actually build it. So up here at the top I have a handy little reminder of uh, when you have a binary number what each value is worth. Again I'm sorry that this is uh, an MS Paint video. I don't have my tablet device quite yet but I'm going to write really big and I turn down my mouse sensitivity so that uh, or I turn it yeah, turn it down so that my numbers uh, are written slower, so they should hopefully look better. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> okay, so let's start off with the easy way. We know that um, normally when we do subtraction like this, we put one number on top of the other, we have our minus sign, and we just take the top one minus the bottom, and we get four for this example. Or if we have uh, larger numbers, minus 11, we would do the first column and then the second column. Now if we have numbers that uh, where the first digit, let's see, let's think of a good example here, 17. So the first digit, our, our top number, our, our top digit is less than our bottom one. So we have to actually remove one of the carries over here. You know what I'm talking about guys? And then this would be, uh, so then we have a 10 over here that we can add into this guy. So we would actually get 16 minus 7, which is 9. Okay. So then our, on the left, we're just left with 5 minus 1, which is 4. So this same principle holds up in, in binary subtraction. So let's take a look. Let me just erase... Actually, I'll leave that up there so we can reference it. Um, so, say we have uh, really simple numbers. Let's do 7, which is 1, 1, 1. I'm just going to write next to the side at 7. Minus 2. Oops. But 2 in binary is 1, 0. And then at the beginning, we'll just put a 0 so that all the digits line up. So we can do the same thing. 1 minus 0 in the first column is 1. 1 minus 1 in the second column is 0. 1 minus 0 in the third column is 1. So we're left with 101, which is 5, which is what we expect to see. Now, the carrying principle still works, the borrowing principle, if you if you will. So if we have, um, let's do, um, I'm, sorry, I'm trying to think of good examples here. Let's do uh, 7, no, not 7. Let's do 5 minus... 2. Okay, so first column goes easy enough, 1. Second column, we can't do 0 minus 1. So we borrow from the left, we decrease this by 1, and then we have uh, this many that comes over here. So here we're going to be able to do uh, 1, but it's not just 1, it's 1, 0. So this is really 2 in the carry. This is kind of confusing because we're not really used to seeing just zeros and ones when we do this. So we actually have one zero minus one, and we know that that is equal to one because two minus one is one. So let's check. We have five minus two gives us three. I really don't like doing subtraction this way because of the carries. It's you can see it gets confusing because as you as you transfer the digits over, you kind of have to convert. So each time you bring one over, though, it's always going to be two which helps, but, uh, or not necessarily two, but it's always going to be one zero, which, which, you know, is, uh, is two depending on the place. So let's look at how computers actually do this. Computers use a system called, uh, twos complement. And I'm just going to write this so you see how it's spelled. Hey, not too bad. Look at that handwriting. Slowing it down really helped. So twos complement. Twos complement simply means, uh, we take a positive number, and we convert it to a negative number. And in, in doing that, we're able to just add the two together. Because you know that 5 minus 4 
is the same thing as 5 plus negative 4. So if we can convert this 4 to a negative number, we can just add it like normal. And there's a really simple way to do this that is, it's kind of complicated to prove, so I'm, I'm just going to show you how to do it, and you're more than welcome to read about it. But basically, we're going to follow a formula. Step one in our formula is to take our, our bottom number that we're subtracting, so this number right here, and we, we invert it. And invert simply means all the zeros become one, and all the ones become zeros. Very simple. So if you have zero, one, one, and you invert it, that's one, zero, zero. Step two is add one to what you get from step one. So your top number is going to remain unchanged, and your bottom number is going to get twos complemented, or you call it taking the twos complement of a number. So let's look at a quick, quick example of how you take the twos complement of a number. We saw before how the, uh, how the inverting goes, and adding 1 is pretty simple. We just tack a 1 on the end of this, so this is 0, it would become a 1. But let's do a, uh, a larger one. So let's take uh, 1, 1, 1, which is 7, and we need to affix a sign bit to this. Okay, so that'll always be, you know, one just one more digit. But when you look at the number, you can't really tell. So if we invert it, then we get 1, 0, 0, 0. And we add 1, giving us 1, 0, 0, 1. Now our first digit is still the sign bit. And what's left after is the number. And so this looks like 9, which is what 1, 0, 0, 1 is normally equal to. But actually what we have here is a negative 7. So let's do some really quick examples to kind of illustrate how this is used. We'll start off simple and then we'll do something a little more complicated. So let's do a very, very simple one. Let's do two minus one, which of course we expect to yield one. Let's convert these to binary. Two in binary is one zero. One in binary is one. Now what we need to do is give each of these a sign bit, as in, in negative five, this is the sign, or in four, we have a imaginary plus sign right here. So we'll add a 0 onto 2, and then we need to add just as many bits onto 1. So we'll use zeros. And what we need to do now, is, and keep in mind these, this is the sign bit right here, and please remember that 0 is plus and 1 is minus. So we need to convert our 1 to negatives so that we can do uh, minus 1. So what we'll do is we first remember our rules. We invert the bits and then we add 1, giving us negative 1 is equal to 1, 1, 1. Now normally, remember, this is equal to 7, but the first is a sign bit. So we, we kind of have to keep in mind how many bits we're working with when we do subtraction. It's, it's really important. So uh, let's set up our, uh, our little equation here. So we get 0, 1, 0, which is 2, plus 1, 1, 1, which we know is negative 1. And when we add them together, we just do it just like normal, okay? We get 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, 1, because 1 plus 1 is 2. And then 1 plus 1 here is also 2, so 1, 0. Now, remember, everything to the left of this dot was our sign bit, but we have an extra digit right here. What you do when you're doing 2's complement addition and subtraction is you completely disregard this first digit, okay? We we don't need it anymore. It's It's unnecessary. And you see what we're left with is 1. So 2 plus negative 1 is 1. It's exactly what we expect. Let's do something that results in a negative number. Let's do 4 minus 5. Okay. So 4 we know is 1, 0, 0. And 5 is 1, 0, 1. Now we need to add a sign bit because we're working with a positive and a negative number here. So these will be our sign bits. And in the computer, this is already done for it. Basically, a computer, say if it's an 8-bit number, you'll have 7 bits that are the number and then 1 bit that's the sign. Or if you're doing 32 bits, which is what most of your computers do, you have 1 bit that's the sign and 31 bits that are the actual number. So the number part is over here. And this is the, uh, the sign, okay? 
So in our right now we're working with four bits. So we have a three bit number right here. This is three. That's a really bad three. This is three, and then over here we have a one bit sign. Anyways, so let's convert five or negative five to a two's complement. So we first we include the sign bit when we do this. We go one zero one zero, which is the inverse, plus one gives us one zero one one. This is negative five. Now it looks like normally this would be equal to 11, eight plus two plus one, but this is a sign bit. Okay, it doesn't actually contribute to the value of the number when we read it. So let's set up our equation. We have zero one zero zero plus zero one zero one. Sorry, it's not zero one zero one. We just converted it, didn't we? One zero one one. So zero plus one one, zero plus one one, one plus zero one, zero plus one one. So we're left with one 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 one, which is fifteen. But we're remember this is a sign bit, so we have to kind of figure out what our answer is. We we need to convert it back. So we'll draw a big old minus sign because we know our answer is negative. And then let's convert it into a positive number, and we'll just remember to keep this minus sign. And the computer doesn't actually do this. This is something that we have to do to read the numbers. The computer does it in order to present the number to you, but when it's doing math, it doesn't care if you convert the number back to negative, because to the computer, this is a normal negative number. The computer doesn't know about minus signs. So to convert this back, we first subtract 1. We do the, the opposite of... Uh, our steps. So first we do step two in reverse, subtract one, and then step one was to uh, invert the bits. So we'll subtract one and we get one, 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 zero, and then let's invert the bits. We get zero, 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 one. So our answer is negative one, which is exactly what we expect because four minus five, of course, is negative one. So this is how you do subtraction in binary. And what we're going to do in the uh, in the next coming episodes, we're going to actually work on some logic gates that are going to let us uh, create calculators using using binary that a computer actually uses. We're going to create from scratch the calculator that's in your computer and any computer that you've ever used. Okay, and then we're going to work on multiplication and division and add that into our calculator and some other functions until we actually have. Uh, something resembling a processor, okay? It's called a ALU, arithmetic logic unit, and this is what computers do to do math, memory operations, and things like that. So if you have any questions about uh, anything that we went over, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, definitely read the Wikipedia article on Two's Complement. They have lots of examples there. And yes, I again apologize for using MS Paint instead of my tablet thing that I don't have yet. It's quite unfortunate, but nothing I can do about it for now. I wanted to get this video out there because people have been asking for it. So thank you for watching and show your friends because binary is awesome.